Today I'm buying a 1997 Honda Acti K-Van. That's 4,000, I'll let you double check. Cool. And what you need to know is, it's small. The shape of them is funny, they're very narrow, but I'm gonna break down the details on the van, take you along for the test drive, and ultimately talk to you about why I'm buying it. Are we, are we rolling? Yeah, we were rolling. All right, so we're here at the bank. We're about to get out some cash, a few thousand dollars for, for this big purchase, so. So guys, I'm at the Japan Direct Motors dealership. This is in Irmo, South Carolina, which is not too far from where I'm from. And when you come onto the lot, what's really cool is they have obviously the vans, which I'm very interested in, right here at the front, but they also have this whole front line of super cool Japanese type vehicles. And I'm not a car guy, so I don't know all the perfect lingo, but there is some super cool looking stuff here. Look at this one right here. They have everything that you could possibly want if you're into this kind of vehicle. They got the dump trucks way, way down there. And then of course they got the K trucks and the K vans. Such a cool dealership to come to. AJ, let me know which one. It's that white one right there. The white one right here. Yes, sir. So K vans are little Japanese vans. They're like super tiny. They're very funny to look at in, in real life. And I'm very excited to show you guys what these are today. And then obviously reveal the one that I'm getting. So guys, maybe you've seen the trucks before. I think the trucks are very popular and a lot of people have seen these and they're so cool. They have the little dump trucks that are also very interesting vehicles to look at. But what I've been interested in is the vans. And the vans, there's a handful of different people who make them, Honda, Suzuki. And I've been checking these out for about a month now. Now, trying to land on the right one and I just love these things I just the shape of them is funny they're very narrow but they're so interesting I can't wait to get inside of one of these and obviously guys give you more explanation as to what the heck I'm up to that's my man Crosby over there he's the one that's gonna be helping me out here what's up Crosby How you doing, man? I'm good buddy so guys just in full transparency I came up here a couple of days ago to decide on which one I wanted and you're looking at it right here. This is the K-Van that I selected and I can't, we're about to hop in it and do a test drive. I haven't even test driven it yet. Look at how cool it is. So we're about to hop in there and do a test drive. Of course, I'm gonna show you guys everything that's going on with this van. Um, we'll get kind of a size comparison to just <laughs> kind of show you guys how small they are and it'll be a lot of fun. I got Jenna here with me. We got Jenna and it's gonna be a great day. So guys, this is the 1997 Honda Acti. These are called K-Vans, K-E-I. Um, and the trucks are also called K-Trucks. And like I said, there's a handful of different people who make them. I chose the Honda Acti, which is a very popular one. Um, and it happens to be a, a white one and from 1997. And I chose to get one that's pretty bare with not a whole lot of things done to it yet. And I will talk about why I did that, but man, isn't it beautiful? I cannot wait. So let's go ahead and hop in there and knock out a test drive. All right, so you guys, the, the kicker with these is that they're right-hand drive. Am I right, Crosby? Yup. So all of the K trucks and K vans that are on this lot are right-hand drive? Everything's right-hand drive on the Even lot. those cars, huh? Even the cars are right-hand drive. Even the cars. So the, the shifter's obviously in the middle, so I have to do that with my left hand. But the, the good thing is the pedals are in the same spot. Yep, exactly the same. If the, if the, if the gas and the brake were opposite, I think it would be terrible. But but yeah, this is this is pretty cool. So. We're gonna do a little test drive. Crosby, which way do I need to go, dude? We take a left out here. All right, so we got the clutch on the left. And I know every, every um, you know, one of these is like, it's got a, got a slight, see, there it is, right there. <laughs> like they're all a little different. And your U-brake's still on. The U-brake is still on. That's yeah, down here in the middle. All right, cool. Yeah, give me the run down here, Crosby. Uh, he hasn't here. driven one gotcha. since you so, were like 16, yeah. right? Is that it? And then your blinker's gonna be on your right side instead of like where your wipers would be, your blinker's on that side and your wipers on the left. Okay. So that's one thing you have to get used to. All right. Oh, 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 uh -oh. Okay. fancy. All right, cool. It has AC. Ooh, that thing got some AC. It's great because you can like hear the... The compressor oh, kick on, yes. yeah. <laughs> there we go, okay, so I'm getting a little pressure there. All right. And then just take a left. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. You better... So can you just imagine me on a in, in on a thrift trip taking this bad boy? Oh my gosh. This is hilarious. 
It just feels so like, um... Oh, oh, oh God! Go down? <laughs> you the first, yeah. Did I go in the first? You're in third now, you're good. All right, we're good. Our are super close together. These. That's all good. Look, this has been a little while since I've done any <laughs> stick shift. I did stick shift only until I was like 15 maybe. And, and then I haven't driven one in a, in a like <laughs> since. This is crazy. I feel so like um, close to the ground. Yeah. And like close to, I don't know, I like how big the windshield is. Mm. I feel like I can see everything. How's Crosby doing back there? So Crosby, how long you been working for the dealership? So I've been working for Brooks for one, about a year now. Okay. Yeah, Brooks is the owner and he, he couldn't be here today, he's out of town. Yep. But he's been like the one that's obviously been yep. hooking me up the whole time. Dude, look at these dogs. You better stay on your side <laughs> of the road, mister. I'm on this side now. Jenna, that's your worst nightmare right now. Yeah, there. that is literally yeah, my worst they have, nightmare. They have, a lot, they have like a little dog party oh every week. Oh my gosh. Dude, I don't want to mess with those people. I think that one of those dogs could probably take down my van. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little, um, I think I'm gonna have to get used to this more than you because now I'm closer to the cars coming by and it makes me really nervous. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll check for you. Let me know when okay. you're ready to go. Ready? ready? There you go. Okay. So we'll be further. Alright. Crosby, what, what, uh, okay, so you know, I wanna like basically side hustle this thing yeah. out. So we talked, her sister had a good idea of like, if I can get the, the right paint job, like make it like a photography prop, yeah. like ran out to photographers and stuff. Um, so, it's my right, right here, right somewhere. Somewhere. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking of like what's a good kind of neutral, but kind of like vintage looking, um, you know, color that's mm -hmm. like good for photo shoots, but not. I think green, um, green's a really, you can do like a, yeah. a lighter, darker, um, very neutral color, um, yeah. kind of classic looking. Or, you know, you can always do something crazy and get more attention. Yeah, I know. I saw <laughs> some where people were doing, doing like a, um, they kind of have like a solid color but then like a bright sort of stripe through the middle yeah. or whatever. That looked pretty cool, like yellows and greens. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, I stopped it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still feel like I need to hug this line a lot yeah, more you probably. you do need to, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I realize that it's hard to get into the habit of that. So another cool thing about these is they're in kilometers. So, uh, do you know how fast you're going right now? Right now, well I guess I'm going 70 kilometers. So What's that? About 40 miles per hour. 40 miles an hour. And it has like a little over 100,000 kilometers on it, so it's got about 64,000 miles. Man. This oh. is where it gets fun. Every time I have to ship down. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have you seen people like buy these and use them for? Like I know camping is a big thing. Camping, again, for businesses and stuff. Like I had someone yesterday buy it for their gardening business and they're gonna transport, you know, pots and stuff from their two locations. Wow. Um, but there's just so many things you can do with these vans. It's, you're, it's just, you know, you're limited to your mind, you know? Yeah. You can do anything with these, pretty much. Okay. That's good. I don't want to be limited to my mind. There you go. There you go. So, from a 2022 yeah. CRV to a 97 K van. It's, uh, it's a big difference. Yeah, a bit you know? of a big difference. difference. But it's cool. Pretty much about it with all its features. Yeah. A little shot of Crosby up there in the mirror. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Little little Japanese writing in there. That's kind of cool. So I just pull up on that, then it folds down that part. And you got a little handle right here. Oh, down here. It just folds right into there. So he said you said a twin could fit in there, right? A twin mattress? You can, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to pay up. Yo. Yep. Crosby wants his money. I get I it. Totally money. understand. Matchbox cars. That is so cool. Japanese R anime kind of stuff. If any of you guys have any of these Matchbox cars that are like K-Vans or K-Trucks, send them to me. That would be so cool to start a collection. Even the tissues. Yes, sir. You'll sign here and then you'll flip up and sign in that same spot. Okay. I always tell everybody it's not our end of our relationship. Right. Uh, if stuff comes up and you're working on it and you pick my brain, uh, or you've got uh, parts you're hunting, you can't find them, definitely get with yeah. me. And we'll help. Yeah, definitely. Always. Cause I don't. I'm not a car guy. So yeah, you'll I'll you'll call me. Somebody. I'll hear from you. <laughs> I'll, I'll ask somebody. I'll need some money. And that should be 500, 500. 